of a game player, but I've had some problems on my Xbox and my Windows 10 laptop, but fortunately for me, I have a tablet. So let's get into it. This is going to be a longer video, so you know, grab some popcorn or whatever, let's talk. All right, everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about the Xbox One X, and more specifically, I'm going to be talking about why I want it and why I think people should be hyped for it. Let's go all the way back to 2011. I remember playing some multiplayer game with my mates, and I remember saying, like, this generation's just getting ridiculously long. Like, it, it got to a point last gen when I think people were just getting sick of the generation just being that long, like we're ready for something new. Like the games that were coming out were great, but you know, we needed something new. 2012 came, no new system. But then we start getting rumors about this thing called Durango. And then PlayStation had their event. It was actually pretty good. And then Microsoft kind of announced that they were gonna have an event. Everyone assumed what it was gonna be and everyone was right. And the day before, Major Nelson, I think he put out a tweet, or it might have been on his podcast, saying that the event tomorrow would be about the features and what it can do. E3 will be about the games. So I went into it thinking, okay, well, E3 is only like a month away. I'm fine with it. So I watched the event. I'm like, wow, that Xbox One looks pretty nice. I like what it can do. All these Kinect features seem cool. Now I'll wait to see the games at E3. And at the time, I, you know, while I did have a Twitter account, I barely used it. I mean, they, you know, posted, you know, questions about maps and games and stuff. You know, nothing big. Rarely posted. And then I just saw the backlash online. You know, wor worthy of the backlash or not, it happened. And from that point on, you couldn't be hyped about Xbox without being a tax. You know, if you liked Xbox, you were a fanboy. And that's to say, people still treat you like that. You know, you can have a Nathan Drake profile picture and hit on Xbox constantly, and you're a PlayStation fan. But if you're an Xbox fan that's looking forward towards something Xbox, you're a fanboy. And that's what I've hated. And that hasn't changed. But Microsoft got better. The I think it was the August, the came out and said, look, you don't need to have an internet connection. All was fine. The console released without DRM. And then eventually, they took the connect out the box, loads of price, and the games that were coming out were great. And then last year, they announced the Xbox One S. And I thought, wow, that's a nice looking system. You know, it's small, it's more compact, got clean clean edges, you know. I like the, like the dots on, on half of it was matte, had 4K Blu-ray support, HDR, you know. So I thought, this is awesome. This is kind of a relaunch for the Xbox One. And then when they announced the Project Scorpio, the entire Xbox community, me included, were hyped. Because for three years, it was power this, power that, better exclude, uh, better multiplats, you know, better resolution, higher resolution. and that was the focus by the media and everyone. No matter where you went to, be it places like GameSpot, Polygon, everywhere like that, it was resolution gate, resolution gate, power, 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 resolution. And then there was all these polls done about why people bought PlayStation 4s over, Play over Xboxes and Xboxes over PlayStations. And the number one reason was for people moving to PlayStation was power and resolution. That was on one specific poll. But I've got to say that I am um, I'm hyped. When they announced the Xbox One X, we you know we're getting this powerful system. While people are trying to make it that it's not about the power anymore, it's been about power for three years, so it may as well be about power now. And I'm hyped. So why am I hyped about this system? It's going to make all my games look better, even without an update. Saw some Halo 5 screens yesterday. You can really notice that's pre-update. You know, and as someone that enjoys 
my back catalogue of games. I have a, a pretty big 360 collection. You know, I, I love the fact that we're getting backwards compatibility. I love the fact that original Xbox backwards compatibility is going to be thing because I can actually play some games I missed out on because my original library wasn't that big. But I'm hyped. You know, this has got six teraflops of GPU power. This is going to make games look so much better. And if you've seen Call of Duty Enhanced, I saw a clip today, it looks fantastic on Xbox One X. These games aren't just getting resolution ones. These games are getting better graphics, better textures, better lighting, you know, everything. And it just goes to show that developers aren't really swayed by the larger install base. They want to use the power of the Xbox One X. And we're getting games that look fantastic because of it. I mean, we have over 100, and, I think it was 170 enhancements announced, and there's going to be around 70 for launch. You know, that's fine. Personally, I think they should have had more for the day of, because at the minute I have maybe six enhanced games downloaded. And I think it would have been smarter to get more. I mean, yeah, it's on the developers, of course, but yeah. But it's a good time, you know. We're getting these DVR features, which you can't buy. And Elgato was announced yesterday. Looked pretty cool, right? Looked really good. But it was like $300 or £300. It's like, it can't even do HDR. Granted, it's a fantastic capture card. And you're probably going to be able to do a lot with it. But the Xbox One X can record 4K, 60, HDR. Like, that's big. I mean, HDR content is getting bigger on YouTube. You know, at the minute, it's mainly, you know, live action stuff like documentaries and, you know, panning views of the ocean and stuff. So it's nothing really new. However, HDR gameplay would be pretty good on YouTube because that way you'd actually be able to see these games better that you're thinking about buying. And I think it's going to be a good time. Like, I hope people that get their Xboxes, or should I say, people that ordered them, get them on Tuesday, or before, if you're lucky. Because uh, waiting for something is a pain, you know. And I wish, I wish everything could have just gone right. But this is the thing, back to my original point. One of the reasons why I'm so excited for this console is because we're allowed to actually enjoy it. Yeah, you do have the occasional troll or blogger that just attacks you for liking something or attacks the product. Overall, the Xbox One X seems to be delivering to the promise. And I saw an article yesterday about they're not going to max out the power anytime soon. And at the bottom, it was basically like, well, they aren't going to use it because they've still got the cater to the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. And, you know, that is kind of true. However, let's move PlayStation to the side for one because, you know, we're not talking about PlayStation. The, the new Xbox One dev kit can scale games. So I don't think that it's going to be a big issue a year from now, two years from now, three years from now. I don't think it's going to be a big issue. I just think you'll have dynamic lighting kind of not on some games on the original xbox and i don't understand that because it's the same as pc games you know if you have a beast rig you're gonna have games looking way better than someone with a cheap laptop that's how it is that's how it's always going to be in these mid-gen systems are kind of new you know we had the 32x that was a thing I had a 32X, and then there was the CD drive, and there was something else, I think. But this is something new. You know, look at the excitement for the Xbox One X, right? Look at all the p people excited for it. Look at the hype for it. This was nowhere to be seen with the PlayStation 4 Pro. And look, the PlayStation 4 Pro is a solid system. 
Is it the 4K system they advertise? No. But at the same time, games are going to look good on it. And hell, games being better on the Xbox One X is going to help PlayStation 4 games out because they're going to get updated. Because more games are going to get updated now because there's more hardware to push out those, you know, the high resolutions and whatnot. So it's a good time. It's a good time to be a gamer across the board. Really good if you're an Xbox gamer. And if you're on Nintendo, well, you just got to switch, you know. It's a good time. I think it'll be interesting over the next few months because Microsoft tends to do really well in the holiday. And with them having a 199 Xbox One X S, which is what I saw yesterday on Twitter, and this Xbox One X, I'm with Black Friday, if they bundle it with maybe Forza, I could see this maybe being number one, depending on if no, if Nintendo actually, you know, make Switches. Because the Switch is going to be hot. You know, Mario's doing really well. Zelda's still selling. Skyrim will probably do well on it. Doom? Doom should be pretty big on the Switch, because I think I think they need a first-person shooter. But anyway, back to the Xbox One X. It's a smaller system. It's a more powerful system. It's delivering to the promise of the power people have wanted for years. The power that people have talked about for years. Because if you go to Google right now and just type in resolution gate, look at everything you see. Multiple different outlets, pages upon pages upon pages of people complaining about resolution on the Xbox One. Well, I am sarcastic most of the time. And when I say something like, it's our time now, I don't think there's going to be some revolution or resolution and people rise up and they think, look, it's all consoles, it's gaming. When I say it's our time, I'm just saying, we are getting the most powerful system now. And when the PlayStation 5 comes out, that will be more powerful because that will be a next-gen machine. And then when the Xbox One, or well, Xbox whatever they call it, comes out, that will be more powerful. And it's, you know, it's, it's just going to be this cycle, you know? Then maybe next gen there's more mid gen, you know, refreshes, and then PlayStation goes first. You know, this is probably going to keep happening until we get, you know, just this tiny box we put in front of our TV that just, you know, streams games. Granted, I think that's like 15 years away, but still, it's a good time to be a gamer now. You know, so many Xbox fans are excited. You know, if if you're not getting the next. You still have some awesome games coming and awesome games to play this holiday. And you know, while while I do think Microsoft does have issues when it comes to the, the first party department, that could be rectified. You know, and to be honest, I've bought every single one of their first party games. At some point. Um other than four to six, I never I played five. I'm getting seven. Well, I got seven. I just don't have it yet. But there's good games coming. And like, look at next year. We have State of Decay 2, Sea of Thieves, Crackdown 3. I don't think all will be next year, but I hope. And there's a bunch of third party games that's just going to be insane. We have Red Dead Redemption 2. That's going to be outstanding. The first game was a masterpiece. If that's in 4K with high resolution textures on the Xbox One X, ooh, that'll be good. And we have things like Code Vein, which is anime Dark Souls. You know, I think that looks awesome. We have Far Cry 5, that's also enhanced. We have Monster Hunter World, also enhanced. We have all these games. We have the indie games like The Last Night. I hope that's next year. But again, it looks awesome, and that'll be 4K on the Xbox One X. Games are just going to look absolutely incredible, and they already do. Like I'm, I've been playing Call of Duty World War Two on the Xbox One S, and look, that game looks fantastic. So even if you're not upgrading, you're still in for a treat. But if you get an Xbox One X, you're in for a mega treat. And then we have PUBG coming. Player unknowns. Battlegrounds, people. Now, if you know me, I've been excited for PUBG for ages. I remember seeing that in March, thinking, that looks fun. But at the time, I thought, that'll never come to a console. And 
thankfully it is whether it's exclusive for a month a year two years i don't care i'm buying it in december and i actually kind of like that the fact that it's just a box with a cord in it because i just want to i want to think for myself and i'm kind of getting both you know i'm getting me cake and i'm eating it and that's good but i just love the fact that it's 2017 there's all these games coming out has come out and is coming out and it's just awesome i'm super excited you know i think microsoft did right waiting for this year because last year this xbox one x would have been probably a hundred pounds more it probably would have done bad you know because of the price but look at the games last year there was Watch Dogs 2, Titanfall 2, Battlefield 1, Mafia 3. Other than that, there, was, there wasn't really a ton of big games last fall. This fall, we have Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. We have Assassin's Creed Origins, which is this new, huge open world RPG in Egypt. It's going to look fantastic. Melt to eyeballs. We have the Evil Within 2. It looks like a massive upgrade compared to the first game. We have Call of Duty World War 2. Like I said, good game. Really good game. We have Star Wars Battlefront 2 coming out, which is going to be early access on, or early play on EA Access. You know, FIFA 18 just came out. Shadow of War looks really good. Cuphead just came out. Super good, super difficult, but you know, it's good. South Park just came out. All these games, you know, whether they're getting enhanced or not, games are still going to look better. And I think it's just awesome. It's awesome that we get to be the time when Xbox One X is coming out at the right time, with the right games coming out. And to be honest, I've never been this hyped for a system. Not that I can remember. Anyway, just thought I'd do a longer video today. And I'm going to do a longer video tomorrow because I actually quite like this. It was more more casual. Like, when I'm trying to fit something into a five-minute video, it's, like, kind of difficult sometimes. But again, it's all trial and error. I've been doing this for a while, you know. I'm going to try and push out more Xbox One X videos throughout the week. And if this sounds okay, I'll make it go live tonight and I'll do another one tomorrow. Or maybe I'll have one with gameplay. Anyway. If you enjoyed the video please share on twitter facebook whatever you use like and subscribe hit that bell for notifications follow me on twitter the link will be in the description down below i am out have a good day